we appreciate uh, him moving his schedule around um, because, as he said, he was doing inside. As I told you, uh, he said, I've got to do inside. And I thought to myself, what are you talking about? You're working inside? I mean, where all the studio shows are. No, inside the NFL. I got it. All right. So he did it, and now he's here to account for spending all Super Bowl post-game NFL game day final caping for Tom Brady as if he did it all 25 consecutive weeks beforehand. (laughs) He is none other than my Pro Football Hall of Fame friend, who I love dearly, Michael Irvin. (laughs) Are you there, Michael? <laughs> I, I, I am absolutely here. That's funny. That's funny, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, and, and, and Michael, over there, who's that you talking about? Mike, about the planking? Del Tufo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's Del yeah, Tufo. Listen, yeah. It, it, it's the only thing unfair about working out is you can work out for a year and you can lose it in two weeks. You're like, wait a minute. It should at least take me six months to lose it since I put a year in. Right. But it yeah. doesn't work that way. It, it doesn't work that way. That's just what it is. Well, but you can get back there because you were there before. So I guess the, simi- so the right. similar aspect of that, Michael, would be let's just say you have questions about a football player um, and, and spend many weeks questioning that football player's viability to be right. a champion anymore. And then mm-hmm. when that player becomes a champion – you act like that's the way you handled it all season long. For instance, just throwing rich, that out rich, there. Rich, 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 the things, I, I did not question his ability to become a champion. I questioned only the strength of his arm to consistently do try to do what they were trying to do, which throw up the field. Mm-hmm. Now, 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 and, and, and I always said you're going to be still, it's not about I can't do it anymore. It's, I can't do it consistently all the time like I used to do it. But then you find other ways to win football games. Now, now I won three times this year. So, so three times you guys let me long wolf Tom Brady. Long wolf Tom Brady. Three times. And, 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 and so, so I, it's, I ain't been with him all year because it was you guys just stayed on the other side. I kept holding my arms out saying, come on, come on. And everybody kept saying, well, uh, basically, we can just wait because Patrick Mahomes is about to pass Tom Brady. All weekend in, in, in Tampa, I had to tell everybody, let's stop. Let's stop doing this. Let's stop. We're doing this kid a disservice. We're saying we can't even enjoy his now because we know he's going to get seven rings as if it's that easy. We're doing him a disservice, and then he goes and loses that Super Bowl. You, you know what I mean? Tom said, y'all stop it. Y'all stop it. I just I, I just thought that was interesting. Rich, I'll say this. What I was saying mm. was there's no way Tampa can lose this Super Bowl. No way. Beyond Tom. Beyond Tom. Because of the mark and the stain that it will place upon their brain that every time they walk in this stadium, they walk in this stadium. They'll have to. They, they, they'll, they'll have to play their home game somewhere else next year. They'll have to play their home game somewhere <laughs> else if they were to lose that football game. That's what I was trying to impress no. upon everybody that they did not get. And, and and as a matter of fact, your flair for the dramatic. You uh you you even had cannons fire off to make that point uh, yeah. in our pregame that show, perfect, which was time. that was great. And perfect. you you realized the moment. You met the moment as as only you can, Michael. That was phenomenal. We both posted it on our our Instagram accounts and what have you. And great. and and you were right about that. And I I do want to place that aside because I don't want to get sidetracked about where you are absolutely right rather than you staking your claim on our largest platform as you always do know what the moment is you know post Super Bowl show that's a huge platform for NFL Network where you made it definitely made it sound like you never had a doubt about Tom Brady and that I had to call you up because I got a ton of texts from people saying your your guy Irv is crushing it right now, and I'm like, fantastic. Let me see what he's saying, and then I'm like, come on, did did the did the week two game day morning reviewing that that throw from one hash all the way to the other sideline not happen? Did did the four finger moment on Thursday night football that you did the post game show for did that not happen? Did did none of those things happen, Michael? At all? And the, the repass, Rich. What about I got on so hard with the repass? The repass. <laughs> the repass. Yeah, nobody talked about all right, week. You got on Tom him for... Brady had a repass. 
where he got batted back to him and he threw it a second time like he's supposed to be allowed to do that. Right. You got on him on that. Right, 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 right. The repass. <laughs> like that never happened. I'm like, wait a second. Hold on. That you now get the opportunity to act like you're the you're the sta- you're 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 caping for Brady. Like you're the only one. And I'm like, hold on a second. I have to call him and we have to have a conversation about this. <laughs> right, right. There's a lot in there to unpack. There's a lot to unpack. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack it. There's a lot to unpack. Because we're talking about multiple things under one umbrella, under the Super Bowl umbrella. We're talking about Brady, yes. But we're talking about defense, yes. We're talking about manhood. Manhood also, Rich, that's what I'm talking about. We're talking about manhood. It's like I've been telling people, there's a certain amount, there's a certain thing that I, I will not put up with. I will not put up with. And somebody coming, you made it to the only Super Bowl, to you, the only team to ever play in a Super Bowl in your home stadium. And now you're going to let somebody else come in and win that game. It's akin to, Rich, I tell you, it's akin to somebody just coming in your house Come and sit at your table, eat your food. Look, your wife's serving him. She sits down, and he's holding her hand, eat your food. Come on, man. And when you get rid of him, when you get him out of your house, I got to get rid of the table. I got to move the houses. I can't even have this. You see what I'm saying? So that's what was on Tampa's head. If they let this go on, they can't come in this stadium again because that's all they will see is that scene right there. And that, that, that manhood challenge came out, and that's what won that game for him. Man, hey, hey, hey for net, for net, the way he was running, oh, my, for net, they should have had the police outside waiting on for net. That was blunt force trauma he was delivering to those dudes. Blunt force trauma. We should have put a, it was It was insane watching it. That, that was manhood stuff that I was talking about and that they displayed yesterday. On my Sunday. Michael Irvin here on the Rich Eisen Show, and Devin White had that manhood mentality right there. And, and again, so I've been, you know, busting your stones since you called in about being able to say that you could cape for Brady like you did for 25 straight weeks, and you didn't. But you were spot on, Michael, uh, with the prior – uh, to the game conversation that we had on game day morning where we all were like, well, home field advantage, it's not like the crowd's going to be that noisy on behalf of the Bucks. Well, it's not like the Chiefs had to stay on the road all week like a right, normal yeah. Super Bowl. They were home. And so what sort of mentality, what sort of home field advantage are they really going to have? It's just like a business trip for the Chiefs. They fly on on Saturday, they play a game Sunday, they go home Monday and then have a parade on Tuesday. And you were like, no, 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 no. Like this is somebody's home turf. And and you text. I think you texted the, the the entire chain when when Devin White picked one off, and you read his lips saying, "Not in our house." Like you were you were Not spot right. you were Not spot. In our house. I right. mean, that was it. <laughs> right. He was leading that charge in that, like because like the, the, like week you know week two twenty twenty one week three twenty twenty two week nine twenty twenty three at Raymond James Stadium. They'd look, be looking at the the end zone where Mahomes was holding up the trophy and picking confetti out of their hair. Like they can't have that. You can't have that. And, and Rich, and Rich, you saw all the other things. That, you know, okay, we were just shooting inside NFL, so I get all of the video, get to see even highlights that, that no other shows get. You know what I mean? Right. They only show for those shows, but you can see, you can see all of it. The holding up the two fingers. That Antoine Winfield, I was with Antoine Winfield Jr. and his dad after the Super Bowl. I was celebrating with them, you know, but holding up the two fingers in Tyree's face. Uh, 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 Devin White over on the phone, marking, hey, hey, send help, send help. You see, all of that went, that went down in week 12, and the way it went down, that, that, that played all a role, and they were feeding it all back. It was so great to watch. I mean, I just, I love football, and I love the technical side of football, but I love men. I love men more in the sea, the depths that men can pull out. And when, uh, no, I, please, I don't want anybody texting me uh, saying Michael's on. I'm, when I say man, I'm speaking in, in the biblical sense of man. is man and woman. Man. Mm-hmm. man as in male. Womb man. That's a man with the womb. God gave up womb. Have babies. Okay. <laughs> womb man, womb man. I'm talking man in that base. So I'm talking all people, everybody. Just the depths that they can go to to bring the best out of them and what makes them go to those depths. 
That's what I love watching when I see this game. And I saw it in that Super Bowl. That's what made it such a great game. Well, it's one thing you do love more than all of that, Michael, and that's being right. That's being yeah, right. right. <laughs> Ain't like being right. I was just sitting there shaking like my right. head watching you on game day final. I'm like, this is a guy that is so excited about being right. He's so excited that he got his lone wolf right. And that he's sitting there talking about that they weren't going to allow it's anything so like this to happen in their house. Right. I mean, you, you, you nailed that one directly on the head. And how about Arians coming on afterwards and saying, I want to speak to Michael because he's the only one on this, that damn set that picked us. <laughs> I saw hey, that and I'm like, you know uh-oh. Rick, that was that was that was straight by coach too. That gave me straight cred. That's straight cred right there. <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm don't within feed the, the beast. Buccaneers family right now. <laughs> I I I went <laughs> out and celebrated with the Buccaneers family. That gave me straight cred over there with them. So great, man. Earth, you did not <laughs> pick the Bucks all season long. Your preseason pick. I, I, they were my preseason <laughs> pick. And then I backed off them. And now <laughs> they were my preseason pick. And then I backed <laughs> off him, and now here you are on Super Sunday night partying like you're a glazer, like you right. own the team. I was, hey, I was, I, I was, I was in the, the middle of Ebor City where everybody got, you know, and they were crazy. And I was, I was really preaching like camp. They, I, I was like, oh my god, this is insane, man. I had to calm down. I said, calm down. You like, like you just won the Super Bowl. I can't like, yeah, just celebrate. It was so much fun, man. Oh my god. Just to see it, man. I, I was happy for him. I was happy for him. I really was. It was a great Super Bowl. And you're happy for yourself, too. My <laughs> gosh. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that, that true. That's true. That's true. All right. And, 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 but, but, to, but to that, what's the lesson in that, Rick? It, it's timing is everything. It's great to be right, but it's great to be right at the right time. Yeah. That's what timing is. That's what that says. This is just him doing the first down signal after getting like one catch on third and two. That's what I'm looking at. That's like this is what it is right now. This is what's happening. This is what's happening because I chose the Bucks. I'm looking at everybody in the studio right now. I chose the Bucks first. I chose them. I chose them. Bef- I chose them back Tuesday after Labor Day is when I chose them. Yes. And then they go seven and five. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's Thanksgiving weekend. You bail. And and right before they go seven and five, right before that Chiefs game, I bailed. I bailed. I'm like, I don't think so. And then I bailed again. That was good. And now I see him just what like he's. Uh, I can't handle it. It's very difficult. This is like lock of the week. Like I, I don't want to do lock of the week anymore, and I don't want to do this anymore. You hate lock of the week. I oh, despise lock of the week. <laughs> Like Larry Irv, like oh what's, what's a lock? That Tom Brady's great? I mean, is that the lock? <laughs> <laughs> is that the lock of the? Is that the lock that we all learned? The Jets Tom are going to lose. By, by definition, that would be a lock. That would be a lock. <laughs> <laughs> by definition, it would be a lock. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. So before I, I let yeah, you go yeah, on yeah. inside, as you referred to, what oh, did you see? God. What 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 piece of footage have you seen yet that the rest of us haven't seen that 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 might have gleaned gave you anything uh, that in in the the show you just recorded that we'll see on Showtime. That's a good, that's a good question, Rich. That's a good question. Just, and, 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 and and you guys see it and you'll see it tonight. You'll see it tonight. So whatever the footage everybody wants to hear, they, they'll play some of that footage also be too, uh, be about that battle between Tom Brady and Tyron Matthew and all of those things. Some of that will be played. Absolutely. Do we and, fo- and I'm gonna tell you that it is. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Yes. I, I I didn't like that Tyron Matthew put that out like that. The way he put it out, honestly, because I, I I thought, come on now, you know, it makes it sound as if it makes people want to know what he said. We're curious, as if he said the N word, and he did not. Tom did not. So you know, I I don't even like that even looming over this situation. So that's why I think we should clean that up somewhere somehow. That's what I'm saying. So did, he didn't say he didn't say that. So did we hear? Do we hear the word? Or that he said to Tyron tonight? Or? I, 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 I can't even talk about that. They really told, we, well, I really can't. You just got to see what's going okay. on tonight. But, but, but I'm just, because they, they told us, you know, let it play. Okay. We will let it play then.
Irv. Um, thanks, no, for, thanks for playing here, uh, Michael. I posted to but some. But you understand p- what I'm saying. I, I don't no, know. I, no, and, and, and unfortunately, because right. Tyron, right. Tyron, because Tyron, Tyron is to be able to- Tyron is a champion and and an alpha male yeah. in his own right. And it was just two yeah. guys that were you know barking at each other and. Right. That's good. You know, good, 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 you're right. That's all it is. And That's it's the first it time that Ty- I mean, not to make any excuses here, but you know, it's the first time Tyron's lost a Super Bowl. It's a feeling that I'm sure is very right. empty for him. And but you're right. And but I guess Brady called and apologized to whatever happened. And these are two guys right. that are right. you know, um, right. who are I, I you know, we're definitely. I, I I mean, it's tough to call anybody a peer of Brady's when we're talking about the number that he has. But we're talking about two guys who are comp- competitors, and and heat of moment right. will right. hit and. Which is why I guess you you, you keep it quiet. Uh, travel right. safer. But, but on, on, on a serious note, on, on one last serious note, the yes. rich, and, and here let me say this: on both sides, it's important that we get it out. Like you know, okay, he didn't say the N word. That because I, I don't think that's fair and just for Tom. And when we leave it lingering like that, some people think or may say or may you know what I mean have thoughts, and it wasn't that. But also on on our side, as an African American side, because I don't want people to think, okay, are oh, they just saying it again or implant applying it again? So, so it's like it's crying wolf, and then when it really happens, nobody listens. You see what I'm saying? So I want to squash all of that. This was just two guys competing. That was that's what that is. It's just two guys competing. Irv, love you. Have a safe flight home, love um, you too, my brother. And I'll have you back on uh, later on, maybe this month when maybe the Deshaun Watson stuff heats up, or when when things are happening, and and we'll stay in touch and. You can keep uh, rooting, your, waving your pom poms for Tom, and um, yeah. it'll be great. It'll be great. Yeah, I'm officially a R Buccaneer. I'm a R. <laughs> you are. That's what I am. I am officially a Buccaneer. R. Oh, I got you, buddy. That's what that is. Take care of. <laughs> be well. All right. I love you. That's Michael Irvin, everybody.